In the heart of a small town, nestled between the florist and the bookstore, stood a bakery that was more than just a place to buy bread. It was a haven, a place where memories were made and shared over the scent of freshly baked cookies and the warmth of a genuine smile. Jacob and Elsie, the owners of Sweet Aromas Bakery, were preparing for a celebration that was dear to their hearts, the bakery's golden anniversary. Little did they know, this event would bring together the townsfolk in ways they never imagined, weaving a tapestry of stories that would become the bakery's most treasured recipe. The first to arrive was Mr. Harrison, a regular customer whose grumpy exterior hit a soft spot for Jacob and Elsie's pastries. He huffed and puffed as he made his way to the counter, his hands clasped tightly behind his back. The usual, if you please, he grunted, trying his best to sound gruff. But there was a hint of fondness in his voice that gave away his true feelings. Elsie, ever observant, noticed the twinkle in Mr. Harrison's eye and decided to take a chance. Oh, Mr. Harrison, you haven't heard about our little competition yet, have you? She asked, her voice full of excitement. We're holding a baking contest to celebrate the bakery's 50th anniversary, and we'd be honored if you'd like to enter. Mr. Harrison's face turned beet red, and for a moment, Jacob thought he might actually cough up one of his famous cookies. Me? No, no, I couldn't, he stammered. But as he looked around the bakery, the memories of countless cups of tea and warm scones began to flood back to him, and there was a newfound sparkle in his eye. Well, all right then, he said, finally mustering a smile. I'll give it a go. But you'd better not go easy on me, Elsie. I've got my eye on that first place prize. Just then, a young woman with an air of determination about her entered the bakery. Jacob and Elsie recognized her immediately as Emma, a talented baker who had been coming to the bakery since she was a little girl. She had always dreamed of running her own bakery one day, and she saw this competition as her chance to prove herself. As she filled out the entry form, she couldn't help but feel a mixture of excitement and nervousness. Good luck, Emma, Jacob said with a wink. You've got a lot of competition here, but I have a feeling you'll do just fine. Elsie nodded in agreement, already thinking about which of Emma's recipes she might add to the bakery's menu once the competition was over. As the day went on, more and more people began to file into the bakery, each with their own story to tell about Jacob and Elsie and the role the bakery had played in their lives. There were old friends who had moved away but had never forgotten the comfort of Elsie's cinnamon rolls. There were young couples who had met over a shared love of Jacob's chocolate chip cookies. And there were families who had made countless memories in the bakery's cozy corner booths. By the time the deadline for entries arrived, the bakery was filled with the aroma of dozens of delicious treats. Jacob and Elsie looked around at the handmade entries lining the countertops and knew that they had created something truly special. As they prepared to judge the competition, they couldn't help but feel a sense of pride and gratitude for the community that had grown around their little bakery. The competition was fierce, with entries ranging from classic favorites like carrot cake and red velvet to daring new creations like a raspberry lavender scone and a pistachio rose tart. Jacob and Elsie tasted each entry carefully, debating the merits of each recipe and discussing the stories behind them. In the end, they decided on a tie between Emma's perfect chocolate chip cookies and Mr. Harrison's surprisingly inventive lemon loaf cake. As the townsfolk gathered around to hear the results, Jacob and Elsie stepped forward to present the trophies to their worthy winners. They shared stories about each of the contestants, highlighting the hard work and dedication that had gone into every entry. And as they stood there, surrounded by the love and support of their community, they knew that their bakery was more than just a business. It was a symbol of the enduring power of kindness and connection. As the celebration drew to a close, Jacob and Elsie looked around at the smiling faces and full bellies and felt a sense of contentment wash over them. They had always dreamed of making a difference in the world, and they realized that in their own small way, they had done just that.
And as they locked the doors of the bakery and headed home, they couldn't help but feel a renewed sense of purpose and excitement for the next 50 years. The years passed, and the town grew along with their bakery. Children who had been brought in as babies in their parents' arms now returned with their own families, eager to share the traditions and memories that had been passed down to them. The now yearly competition continued to thrive, with new generations of bakers pushing the boundaries of creativity and culinary excellence. And all the while, Jacob and Elsie remained at the heart of it all, their love for each other and their community as strong as ever. As they watched the town change and evolve around them, they found solace in the one constant that had remained, the warm, welcoming atmosphere of their little bakery. It was a place where people could come together, share stories, and find comfort in the simple joys of life. A place where dreams were born and friendships were forged over a cup of coffee and a freshly baked pastry. And as they looked forward to whatever the future might hold, they knew that as long as they had each other and their beloved bakery, they could face anything that came their way. Jacob and Elsie never forgot the lessons they had learned from the first competition, that kindness and community were the true ingredients for happiness. They passed these values down to their children and grandchildren, who continued to run the bakery long after they had retired. The tradition of the annual competition continued, becoming a cherished tradition that bound together the entire town. Over the years, the bakery expanded, opening branches in nearby cities and towns. But no matter how far it spread, it always remained true to its roots. The original location, with its familiar yellow walls and cozy corner booths, continued to be a gathering place for generations of families. It was a testament to the enduring power of love, loyalty, and the simple pleasures of life. Jacob and Elsie never stopped believing in the magic of their little bakery. They saw it as a symbol of hope, a beacon of light in an often dark world. And as they watched their grandchildren and great-grandchildren grow up in the bakery, surrounded by the love and support of their community, they knew that their legacy would live on for generations to come. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Casting a warm glow over Sweet Aroma's bakery, Jacob and Elsie took a moment to reflect on the countless faces that had passed through their doors over the years. Among them was Mrs. Thompson, whose life seemed to be entwined with the bakery's very essence. From her first visit as a young bride to the comfort she found in its corner booth during her later years, the bakery had been her constant companion. Mrs. Thompson first stepped into a sweet aroma's bakery as a young bride-to-be, her hands trembling with excitement as she ordered her wedding cake. It was a three-tiered vanilla sponge cake with raspberry filling, each layer delicately adorned with Elsie's hand-piped lace icing. The cake stood as a symbol of the sweet journey she was about to embark upon with her husband, and it was the talk of the town for weeks after the wedding. As the years passed, the bakery became a part of her family's traditions. Her children's first steps were taken towards the glass display filled with colorful macarons, and their first words were often cookie or cake, much to the delight of Jacob and Elsie. Birthday parties were marked with custom-designed cakes from the bakery, each one capturing the essence of the birthday child's dreams and interests. When her husband passed away, Mrs. Thompson found solace in the quiet corner booth of the bakery, sipping on her favorite chamomile tea and nibbling on Elsie's comforting cinnamon rolls. The bakery was her refuge, a place where she could reminisce about the love she shared with her husband and gather the strength to face the days ahead. In her golden years, Mrs. Thompson became the unofficial historian of the bakery, sharing stories of its past with the younger generation. She would often be found at the bakery, a steaming cup of coffee in hand, recounting tales of the first baking competition, the evolution of the bakery's menu, and the many ways in which Jacob and Elsie had touched the lives of everyone in the town. Through the bakery, Mrs. Thompson's life had come full circle, from the joy of her wedding day to the comfort in her times of sorrow. Sweet Aroma's bakery was more than just a place to eat, it was a scrapbook of her life, each page filled with the flavors and memories that had shaped her journey. 
Lily had always been enchanted by the vibrant colors and delicate scents of flowers, but it was the sweet aroma of freshly baked goods that drew her to Sweet Aroma's bakery every afternoon. After a long day surrounded by her blooms, she found solace in the bakery's cozy ambience, where the scent of roses and peonies mingled with the smell of Elsie's famous apple pie. The bakery was more than just a neighbor to her flower shop. It was a partner in celebration. Together, they had seen countless weddings, anniversaries, and special occasions. Lily would provide the floral arrangements, while Jacob and Elsie supplied the cakes and pastries that made each event unforgettable. One particularly cold winter, when a snowstorm hit the town and Lily's flower deliveries were delayed, it was the bakery that offered her space to set up a makeshift flower market. The warmth of the bakery not only kept her flowers from wilting, but also brought in customers seeking refuge from the cold. That day, the bakery was filled with the laughter of children choosing flowers for their mothers and the contented chatter of neighbors sharing a hot drink. As the years went by, Lily's friendship with Jacob and Elsie blossomed. They celebrated each other's successes and supported one another through hardships. When Lily's daughter decided to get married, there was no question that Sweet Aroma's Bakery would create the wedding cake, a beautiful confection adorned with edible flowers, a tribute to the bond between the two businesses. Mr. Patel, the town's librarian, had always been an early riser. Each morning, before the library doors opened, he would visit Sweet Aroma's Bakery for a cup of strong black coffee and a blueberry muffin. It was his ritual, a quiet moment before the day's hustle began. The bakery, with its gentle hum of activity and the comforting aroma of baking bread, was the perfect place for him to review his plans for the day. Over the years, Mr. Patel's visits became a cherished part of the bakery's routine. Jacob and Elsie would have his coffee and muffin ready, often with a little note tucked under the cup, a quote from a classic novel or a riddle to start his day. These small gestures of thoughtfulness meant the world to Mr. Patel, who found in the bakery a kindred spirit of warmth and wisdom. The bakery also became a venue for the library's book club meetings. Once a month, the group would gather at a reserved table, surrounded by the comforting presence of familiar faces and the promise of Elsie's special book club treats. Discussions about literature would blend with the sweet and savory flavors of the bakery's offerings, creating an atmosphere where stories, both written and lived, were savored. When the library faced budget cuts and the threat of closure loomed, it was the bakery that hosted a fundraiser to keep its doors open. The townsfolk came together, baking and buying treats, their generosity a testament to the community's resolve to preserve their sanctuary of knowledge. Mr. Patel was moved beyond words, his heart full of gratitude for the bakery that had become so much more than a morning stop. It had become a pillar of support in his life's work. The years passed, and the world around them changed in countless ways. But through it all, one thing remained constant— the love that Jacob and Elsie had found in each other, and the love that they had shared with everyone who had ever stepped foot into their bakery. It was a love that knew no bounds, a love that transcended time and space. And as they looked back on their lives, they knew that they had truly lived a story worth telling. The bakery continued to thrive, with new generations of bakers carrying on the traditions and adding their own unique touches. New recipes were created, new designs were imagined, and new stories were shared over steaming cups of coffee and warm, flaky pastries. But at the heart of it all, there was always Jacob and Elsie, standing behind the counter, their eyes twinkling with joy as they watched their family grow and flourish. As the years began to take their toll, Jacob and Elsie slowly stepped back from the day-to-day -day operations of the bakery, handing the reins over to their children and grandchildren. They took comfort in knowing that their legacy would live on, that the love and kindness they had shown to everyone would continue to spread like wildfire. They knew that their little bakery had become much more than just a place to get a cup of coffee and a pastry. It had become a beacon of hope, a symbol of everything that was good in the world.
In their old age, Jacob and Elsie would often sit together on the front porch of their home, overlooking the bustling town square and the bakery that had been their life's work. They would watch the people come and go, their faces lit up with the same joy and contentment that they had felt all those years ago when they had first met. And as they held hands and gazed into each other's eyes, they knew that no matter what the future held, they would always have each other, and they would always have their beloved bakery. The years passed, and Jacob and Elsie eventually left this world, their spirits forever entwined with the love and warmth that emanated from their little yellow bakery. But their story did not end there. It lived on in the memories of those who had known them and in the countless lives that they had touched along the way. It lived on in the laughter that echoed through the bakery's doors and in the friendly smiles of the people who walked through them. It lived on in the simple act of sharing a cup of coffee and a pastry with someone you love and in the knowledge that, even in the darkest of times, there will always be a place where kindness and community can thrive. And so, the story of Jacob and Elsie continues, passed down from generation to generation, their love and their bakery growing stronger with each retelling. For as long as people gather together over sweet treats and share their stories, the legacy of Jacob and Elsie will never be forgotten. Their little yellow bakery may have been small, but its impact on the world was truly immense. It was a testament to the enduring power of love and the lasting impression that one person can make on another's life. It was a story of hope, of resilience, and of the beauty that can be found in the most unlikely of places. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. For more stories, visit my channel.